There were also a bunch of hobby knife makers that were contributing to the war effort in World War II. And one of those knife makers was a pastor from a small town in Idaho that was forging knives in the basement of his church. His name was Hoyt Buck, and his 119 special is a big reason that we're still talking about Bowie knives today. As a young man, Hoyt Buck had apprenticed as a blacksmith in his home state of Kansas, but it wasn't until World War II that he picked up those tools and skills again. Hoyt Buck had his own secret recipe for making knives. Early on, the Bucks would actually baton through bolts showing how well made their knives were. In 1946, Hoyt Buck and his wife's health were starting to fail, so they moved in with their son Al in San Diego, California. Even though Hoyt passed away in 1949, his son Al had learned everything that he needed to keep the Buck name alive until they were able to incorporate in 1961, keeping the world with a steady supply of great Bowie knives leading up to today. 